It might be the hardest choice a mother could ever make to let go of her own brain-dead child so that a patient in need can receive the gift of life. But for anyone waiting for a heart, a liver, a kidney, or lungs, from tragedy comes hope. We're back with the incredible story of two families whose lives collided. A lung transplant has saved Lindsay McLaughlin's life, but she says she can't rest until she knows who saved her. For Lindsay McLaughlin, a new pair of lungs means a new chance at life. But whose death allowed her to live? See the question gnawed at her. And all I knew was he was 18 and he was male. Usually that's all she had ever have known. But Lindsay was determined to get an answer. At Lindsay's request, the New York Organ Donor Network contacted the donor's family. They also wanted to meet because they too had a story to tell. Adrian Rodriguez was a real charmer, a high school senior, a beloved only son, and a darn good cook. The next thing I'll do is again, I'm gonna grab my tablespoon. He had nothing much to his name, except that outsized talent. His passion was mostly cooking. That's where, that's the way the food and money is. <laughs> his mother says he thrived at the Martavalli High School on Manhattan's Lower East Side. It was a long commute from home in the Bronx, but well worth it. Mimi Fortunato was the school principal. Well, the first time I met Adrian, he bounced into my office with a tray of pastries in one hand and beautiful cucumber salad in the other and said, good morning, Miss Mimi, I am Chef Adrian. And I thought he was the culinary arts teacher. Adrian created his own cooking show, recorded in the school's teaching kitchen. And I'm gonna take a rag because I don't want to burn myself. Agent, when you saw him, he was always in his chef outfit, in black pants, always. Dexter Hannibal, the school's college advisor, helped Adrian apply for scholarships to culinary schools. He says, so you won't have to put these applications for me. I'll do it on my own. He really went out there and made this for himself. Adrian had his eye on the future. Mm, very delicious. Very delicious. He was a young man who really committed himself to this dream of being a professional chef, but also to this absolute generosity of spirit that said, uh, I am here, world. Let me know what I can do for you. April 1st, 2011, Adrian Rodriguez was leaving for school. Uh, Adrian was um, running to school, excited about the day. Uh, wearing new shoes, shiny shoes, and he uh, slipped on the subway platform. A slip, and as the train pulled in, he fell. The train clipped his head. And the police called the school and asked for the principal. And the police officer said, is Adrian Rodriguez your student? And I just, my heart stopped. I said, why, why? He said, y y we need you to contact his family and you need to come to Bellevue immediately, it's serious. He left at seven, all of a sudden at eight o'clock, I received a phone call. Diana and Mimi met at Bellevue Hospital. They waited and waited. I had to wait six hours by those six hours. Six hours before six you saw hours him? just to see him. They told me that he was in bad condition. I was like in a panic mode, I don't know what to say, what to think. Diana was finally taken to her son's bedside. His skull was fractured. He was in that twilight between life and death. He was gone, but his organs were intact. He was still on a ventilator. It didn't look like my son. He was all in these tubes and it was cold and I was holding him, talking to him. You remember me, Adrian. Can you please come back to me? Adrian, what happened? At 10 p.m., Adrian was declared brain dead, and his mother was asked about donating his organs. And I'm like, no, no, it's not, it's not time yet. He's just 18, he's just, a, he's just a kid, he's just starting out. We spoke about what it would be like without Adrian and what it would be like without Adrian, but 
with his heart beating in, in, in someone else's body. In the end, Diana made the only decision she felt she could. He loves to share, he likes to give back. And if he has that last candy, he'll give it up. I said, look, I'm gonna do it for you, Adrian. One mother's loss would save another mother's child. All I could think of that day was how lucky we were and how unfortunate she was. I mean, as a mother, I just can't imagine how she felt that day. And we were just so grateful, and somehow I just hope she knew how grateful we were and that her son saved my daughter's life. But the circle was still not complete. They needed to meet. What do you say first? Do you say, I'm sorry for your loss? Do you say, thank you so much? You have no idea how much you've changed my life? Because I don't want to put it in her face how amazing my life is and how great I'm doing because her son's not here anymore. And that stinks. It's crazy for me to think that like she can literally put her hands here and you can feel him, it's him breathing. I mean, I'm breathing with him. It wasn't just Diana and Lindsay who share an unbreakable bond. Mr. Medrin developed cancer in the left kidney. And Three other people as well. Operation. One who received Adrian's heart, another his pancreas, a third his liver. Together they make a new kind of family photo. One, two, three. Well, I like to hear like all the stories about him and not that I wasn't trying to live up to it before, but now I feel like I have an even <laughs> higher bar. That I and some new goals to too. Well, I want to take a cooking class because that's what he was into. I'm not a very good cook, but I'm hoping maybe he'll help me out and maybe I'll be better at it. There is a funny kind of bond, I would think. I mean, Adrian yeah. is part of you. Oh, he's definitely part of me. I mean, he's why I'm here. I think about him every day. When I went snorkeling, I literally was snorkeling and going like this, can you believe we're here? Can you believe we're doing this? Like, you're, I'm here because you did this for me. Like, how cool is this? And on this day when we each count our own blessings, remember Diana and Lindsay and Adrian too, and what it is possible to give one another.